I'm Zach Jeffries and welcome to Saskatoon in Focus where we talk to the people in and behind the headlines that make Saskatoon the great city that it is today. Today we have Dave Denny who is the chair of the Municipal Heritage Advisory Committee joining us. Thanks for coming on the program, well, Dave. Thanks for having me, Zach. So tell me, first of all, a little bit about the Municipal Heritage Advisory Committee. It's uh, obviously great work that uh, you and your committee are doing, but it's not necessarily something that people know a lot about. So tell me what you do. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about us or, or what we are. They confuse us with the Heritage Society, which is a completely different thing. We're an advisory uh, committee to a city council. So we're made up of people from all around the city, different uh, community business improvement districts, uh, realtors, uh, city councillors on, on our group. And so we advise council on any issues related to heritage. We are quite involved in the traffic bridge. Um, we oversee uh, things like the heritage awards and doors open and, uh, and try to promote awareness of heritage, um, but separate from heritage society. So I guess part of the question that some people would ask we have a booming city, we have a lot of new growth going on, we have a lot of exciting things on that front. Why does heritage matter? Why, why does it matter if there's a building 100 years old that is still downtown and we keep it as opposed to taking it down? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. You know, people, uh, people I think ask themselves as, as we grow, what is the character of our city? And, and uh, to know who we are, I think we have to look to our past. And it's really a great opportunity when we have events like Doors Open that are coming up when people can wander around these old buildings and, and get a sense of what's happened here before. Um, you know, I think the world is looking to Saskatoon as we take a bigger and bigger role and, and people will want to know, well, who, who are Saskatoonians? And are they people who aspire to be another Calgary? Um, I don't think that's true. I think for us to know who we are, we need to know where we've come from. And, and uh, so I think promotion of interest in our history is a, is a great way to start to, to sort of find our own identity in Saskatoon. So you mentioned one thing in particular, a great event that's actually coming up in Saskatoon in June, which is Doors Open Saskatoon. Uh, I've attended uh, this event before, and it is a great opportunity to find out more about some great buildings and, and interesting places in Saskatoon. Tell me a little bit more about that uh, opportunity coming up. Yeah, uh, Doors Open is great. It's, it actually is something that started in Scotland in 1990, so it's an international uh, uh, event that we took on in Saskatoon several years back. And uh, it's on June 5th here, here in town. And uh, it's a chance for people to look at buildings around the city. I think there's 23 or 24 different buildings that the doors will be open on. And some of them have uh, exhibits or tours. Um, but you get to kind of get a sneak peek into areas that you never have been before. Not all are heritage buildings. There's brand new buildings. Um, some are interesting buildings that used to be warehouses that have been converted to high-end lofts. And I think there's a lot of curiosity in the city of, of how people have done that and uh, yeah, people love it. it there's no fee it's free uh, you can wander around do the buildings in any order you like and uh, they're organized in clusters so if a person says well I want to see all the buildings that are available downtown well you can go downtown and just pick whatever building you want to start with and go go around from building to building and um, it's been well received and it grows every year so you mentioned that there are buildings both of a heritage nature and ones that are just interesting that people might want to check out that might not have that very same heritage value. What are some of those buildings that people can be checking out? Yeah, there's a variety. It's, you know, um, th there can be the new ones. So there's the, the Eaton's Lofts and the King George Lofts and the, and the Lofts uh, of the Bay Building. So old buildings that have been turned new uh, and, and are interesting. And then there's some that really were never, aren't necessarily old f um, interest from their age point of view, but more their function. So we've got a fire hall, uh, there's an armory, there's a bus, bus uh, state terminal. So, you know, kids might like to go and see what the firemen do, and uh, it's a convenient event for children as well. And of course, there are the old heritage buildings, and you can see old bank vaults and, you know, decorative elements that you, you might not see if you got, didn't get to see the back rooms of these buildings. So, these are things that people wouldn't necessarily see every single day of the year. Is there one thing in particular that you are going to tell people, hey, you really should check this out because this is really cool and you're never going to see it any other time of the year? Ooh, I, I don't know that I can say that. I think in general, you know, all of these buildings, I think you would find stuff that you can't get any other time of year. You know, that if it's a guided tour, you'll be taken through areas that you weren't normally uh, available to you. Or, uh, are there buildings that really aren't public buildings? Um, you know, you can't necessarily enter a fire station and look around and find out what they do there. So I think everything is a little bit special in that way. So something like this, I would imagine, takes a lot of volunteers. It takes a lot of 
Uh, a lot of work to make something like this happen, especially with it being a free event. Uh, what have you found in making this happen with the volunteers in Saskatoon? Uh, do people just really come forward for uh, an event like this and make it happen, or, or is it sometimes a, a bit of a struggle? No, they really do. I think that's, that's one of, we talk about you know, what makes Saskatoon unique, and I think that is one thing that does, is, is this incredible will for people to step forward and, and help and believe in their city and take an interest in the city. And so my understanding is there's 80, 80 uh, or more volunteers involved in this particular project, and that's what makes it, makes it great. You know, it's the guided tours and that personal touch that, that make it happen, and not to mention all the organization involved. Um, so yeah, it's been great. So if someone wants to get involved in uh, Doors Open Saskatoon, maybe you still need a few more volunteers, uh, what, uh, what would be the best route to get in touch with you on that? Well, there's a website, it's uh, Doors Open Saskatoon, www.doorsopensaskatoon.com or CA. Um, and so it has a, a tab there for, for uh, volunteers. So you can find out phone numbers to call about that if you want to participate. I'm actually not certain whether we still need volunteers or not. We, we did as of a week ago, uh, but I know that we're getting close. So. Are there any other exciting events that the uh, that are going on of a heritage nature this summer in Saskatoon that people should keep their eyes open for? Well, you know, um, the, the, as MHAC, we uh, uh, we manage the heritage awards, so that won't be this summer, but that is the next thing on our agenda is to start planning for that, and, and that's where we take a look at the best adaptive reuse of buildings, or we we uh, look at heritage renovations, and and or people who've been involved in the heritage community and, and give awards. For, for that. And so I think that's something people can watch for and, and maybe learn what's happening in the city. Um, the Heritage Society is a great resource. Uh, if you look to them, they'll, they have tours throughout the summer and, and they can provide information about what's available. Great. Well, that's about all the time that we have, Dave. Uh, thanks so much for the work that you're doing to really preserve and, uh, and explore the heritage in Saskatoon. I, I agree with you. I think it's one of those things that makes our city a unique place to, to visit and live and, uh, and uh, really put Saskatoon on the map. I agree. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. And that's all the time that we have today for Saskatoon and Focus. I'm Zach Jeffries, and thanks so much for joining us. Please remember to connect with our program. Check us out on Facebook, on Twitter. Visit our website at saskatoonandfocus.ca or send us an email, saskatoonandfocus at gmail.com. When we get your feedback and we work together, we can make Saskatoon the best city in the world. <laughs>